Guys, finally WinLater 11.0 beta pre-release is here, and this update has taken the emulator to a whole new level. If you love playing PC games on Android, this video is going to be a game changer for you. Let's start with the biggest upgrade. The UI has been massively improved. There's a new theme, smoother app animations. By default, dark mode is applied, which looks super clean. And yes, WinLater even added new official desktop wallpapers to customize your virtual desktop. Wine 10.10 support. And guess what? It's performing even better than Proton 10, which means game compatibility and performance are at a whole new level. Next, controller lovers are going to love this. We now have support for multiple controllers, plus controller vibration. This means no matter what setup you use, you'll get a complete console-like experience right on your phone. Another cool addition is the new controller button slider. Basically, you can map and use multiple functions inside a single button. It's a smart upgrade for advanced gameplay. When it comes to controls, things just got even better. Direct input and X-input compatibility has been improved, meaning more games that previously didn't recognize your controller will now work perfectly. And for Steam users, big news, Steam compatibility is now much smoother so you can enjoy your favorite Steam library inside WinLater without constant crashes and bugs. And here's something huge, Vortec improvements. It now has upgraded support for MediaTek and Mali GPUs, plus support for the Snapdragon 8 Elite series, and tons of GPU-related issues have been fixed. That means performance is going to be stable across way more devices than before. On top of all this, several bugs have been patched, like the display issues with Portuguese and Russian shortcuts, layered windows glitches, and even the keyboard has been improved for Latin characters. All these fixes combined make WinLater feel much more polished and professional. So overall, WinLater 11.0 Beta is not just an update. It's a complete upgrade. From performance to compatibility, from UI to controllers, everything feels brand new and next level. Tell me in the comments, which feature excites you the most? Is it the controller vibration, Steam compatibility, or the new Vortec GPU upgrades? And of course, don't forget to like this video and share it with your gamer friends, because this update is something everyone should know about.